that there's a lot of merit to it. There's a lot of opportunity. It is a great store of value. Now, the interesting thing here is he didn't always have his opinion, but now Larry Fink, the guy who runs BlackRock, one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful company in the world, if you want to call it as such, I would call it a company, but we'll get to that another time. I do think that his opinion is important in regards to what Bitcoin is and what cryptocurrency can do over the next little while here. Now, I don't want to break down too much before we head to CPI on Tuesday morning for the market, but I do want to give you guys this interview here because it's a very interesting one. It's a very short clip, but just understanding the thought process of where crypto in general, but more specifically Bitcoin, could go if it does not go to zero. Let's break this down. If you guys haven't yet, of course, smash the like button, engage with the video. Appreciate you guys. Here we go. That there's a lot of merit to it. There's a lot of opportunity. It is a great store, and this is where you can debate. Is it a good store? Do you know how it's made? A bunch of computers figure out. But there's problems. only. But the issue is, if there, if people believe that it can be a, an asset that can be cross border, right. and let's be clear, if you're in a country where you're fearful of your government, and maybe this is one of the reasons why China has banned it. Mm -hmm. If you're in a government where. You're, if you're in a country where you're fearful of your future, fearful of your right. government, or you're frightened that your government is devaluing its currency by too much deficits. Like us. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> now, question here is, do you guys feel, it's a question for you guys who are watching the video, do you guys feel like the value of Bitcoin will increase higher than the value of whatever country you're watching this video from, your own nation's dollar? put yes or no in the comment section below and let's just take a look at how this kind of comes out right because we'll have people from watching this from seven different countries here i can see the analytics in my in my youtube breakdown but do you think bitcoin will increase at a higher rate than your national currency will over the next let's just say 10 years here we go <laughs> go to the little elephant in the room here. Yeah. you could say this is a great potential long-term store of value and it, as I said, it's like digital gold. And I, and I believe... But you still can't buy a slice of pizza with it. Isn't it, that it's it, kind of no, odd that we're... But you can't buy a, a price of pizza with palladium or, or gold. No, but they, you can do stuff with them. I can get stuff. With, I mean, people use gold for, for stuff, right? But you, you, people, valid. you could buy and sell your Bitcoin. No different. I'm not going to lie. That is some of these questions that he's going back and forth and having to deal with right now while trying to break down that Bitcoin is potentially a great store of value is absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, this guy over here should do a better job. But let's keep it going. Then gold. So it, it is very. What is it? But gold is put in like jewelry, jewelry and, 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 you know, iPhones. I think there's there's in some electronics. There's it's gold. more more silver. silver. And but, but you see what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. there are practical uses. Bitcoin, it's literally a ledger. Right? <clears throat> it is a ledger. And, but it's a international ledger. It's cross border. It, it over, it's, it's bigger than any government. I see, I agree with you. It, it, it would have blown up, I believe, in FTX and it didn't. F now, okay, you, you can, you know, lead a horse to water, but you can't make a horse drink or however the phrase goes. I think I'm pretty much close to it. Hope you guys did enjoy that video and hope you guys are taking the two different perspectives from this video that I thought was very interesting. One is somebody who's trying to break down how, how it could potentially be a store of value if people do believe in it. And then somebody else who's really fighting against it. Um, and that to me does really capture the different perspectives on cryptocurrency that we're currently looking at right now. And if the latter, the latter mean that the second option meaning the person that is fighting against it ever does shift to actually believing in, in Bitcoin and more, more specifically the crypto in general. Um, <sighs> This thing is going to absolutely be a wonderful thing to watch over the next few years here, guys. But anyways, just a little thought piece for you guys. We will break things down in a little more serious note um, probably after Tuesday um, after the market's over because we do want to get that CPI data on Monday. But anyways, guys, if you guys haven't yet, of course, smash the like button, engage the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Much love.